This is part four Koha installation, web installation. You'll be learning select mark flavor, uh, create library, admin account, configure part four. Uh, this is part four. Uh, what you will be learning here is first you will log in, second you will select mark flavor, and third is uh, anyway, the step is not sequentially as I'm written here, it may differ because we will create an admin account and assign username and password and password to it and um, that is very important because that will be a super librarian uh, user and some others there's no steps like i said we will just continue with the flow okay so as you can see we have already successfully logged into uh, the koha staff line uh, let me go to the Koha staff line okay in the previous uh, part you have already we have already tried to log in uh, now if you remember that uh, this is the stable version of Koha Koha 20.05 uh, and this is a process of web installation in part 4 so what we will do is we will now try to install Koha from uh, the web web installation if you remember in step 21 we will take this username we will drop it down and copy paste and then we will follow to the password uh, you remember step 21 from part 3 this is uh, i have taken from part 3 okay video okay login so it asked me to choose the languages you are about to install koha so please this is english by default we will just click on continue continuing 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 and then if you remember we have already installed Perl, so we have no problem in case if we haven't we will have some problem here and then we will have to go back to the terminal and install Perl. Uh, since that step we have already completed we will just continue and then this is the database setting that is my port okay and then if you can see your database my is using mysql and then your name of the database is koha underscore library host name this is your setting the connection was established and then you have the database there username okay continue again this is just like any ordinary uh, you know web application which you basically just you basically just click yes 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 on next 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 to install the software uh, we have login and uh, let's try to create database table here shouldn't take that long okay let me hear what is this i have to, i'm going to clear it and there it is keep it ready uh, in case continue install basic configuration we are ready for basic configuration now we are doing the step the configuration table okay here we are selecting uh, mark 21 because this is the flavor which we want for our bibliographic record information because this is universally accepted and uh, we'll continue and we will have to select uh, the framework already by default they're giving all the framework here so it's some are mandatory and some are not mandatory some we can create later on our own it is not necessary that we select everything but uh, fa first add minimal framework i'll just put that in and then sample mark 21 for some type of bibliographic record okay i need that you know maybe i don't see the sample notice they have taken by default some basic default authorized value for that csv okay fine just see you know how it goes because uh, how it comes and how it appears in koha if we don't try we don't know uh, use patron sample uh, anyway i'm just gonna take that one sample label in case uh set of default items sample libraries yes sample libraries i'm gonna take i'll get some sample libraries in fact later uh, if i don't click the sample libraries i will not get that uh, many libraries uh, which i think by default they'll be giving me 
much later in the Koha software. So I'll import all this and then default data loaded successfully. I think all the MySQL data was loaded. Okay, all right. Go down, 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 down there. And uh, still down. There's so many things here. Let's see, this is uh, permission uh, settings. Skill. These are basically all the mandatory data uh, those above I think were extension and these are the mandatory and these are the optional data so three category are there and um, we will just sample Z39 server this comes under optional okay so my installation is complete it may take a while remember I have fast forwarded this video surname uh, I'll just uh, now I'm going to create Koha administrator patron which will be the super librarian account okay so surname is bare my name and then uh, there card number i'll just give 001 uh, here you see i have many libraries here because i have imported that sample librarian if i library sample libraries if i have not imported i will not be get able to get that where i have i landed here i need that other document that uh, yes um where is step okay server time is a bit slow i'll just remove that sometimes it is i'm now creating an administrative an administrative account okay there we have loaded the libraries like i told you by default because uh, which i have imported at the time when earlier that is the time when i have imported those libraries from the mac mac well after selecting the mac 21 step i will still have the permission to create my own library remember that you don't have to be afraid you can just skip that step and uh, uh, it doesn't matter we can create multiple libraries later also so for the sake of uh, this actually if i have not created libraries here they will ask me to create one library so that step uh, we are not able to show you I, I was not able to show you because i have already imported that sample libraries uh, it doesn't matter you can the, there you will i think in the if i have not given then probably uh, they will ask us to create one library and some code uh, remember I'm assigning new administrative login remember the previous one is just for accessing the, the password from step 21 is just for uh, accessing the web installer uh, accessing to the library and now we are creating a super administrator account okay new username and new password I have assigned uh, username this is my super librarian account username is library sometimes you can give a very strong password it's very important uppercase lowercase special symbols and uh, don't just give simply like library at one two three this is the most common mistake many library are making by giving a very weak and easy to remember at 20 30 account uh, uh okay i have to specify the branch the pattern the agent type and then i will leave it as it is this this you can change later actually okay so the red field are important uh this is a new circulation rule remember from the super library account you can always change the circulation rule as and when you want okay so there's no hard and fast rule as of now but once you have all the li library policy in place for your circulation like the number of books to different types of user ug pg school students teachers principal so on and so forth you will always have the provision later okay from your super library account so start uh start using koha congratulations we have finished installation now we are in the Koha staff remember the 
the username which I have just created. Now I will try to access my super librarian account. Here I have permission to all the modules within uh, this software. So as you can see, um, here I can set libraries. I have many, many, many sample libraries. I can just select so many of them here. Okay. And if I don't import that step, I would not have any many libraries. I would have to create one on my own, which is a pretty easy step. Koha administration uh, shows about many things in here like you can do from basic parameters are very important uh, where you have to create library uh, authorized value item type library group and libraries this is very important and then you have to create rules for your uh, value and then your mark bibliographic framework is very important you can create your own template uh, additional parameters of c39 servers there you can configure a little bit there so uh, no, so I have uh, successfully logged in, installed the web installation, and uh, configured uh, Koha. Okay, follow the next uh, step to set up your library for step part for more configuration. Okay, you still have to do a lot of configuration before we can actually use. Koha for data entry and uh, stuff like that. So these are my references which I have used for this video. Important notes, usually uh, I have encountered slight mistake while accessing my OPAC. The issue was I wasn't able to load. So we'll have to use the following command. Uh, these are three commands we have to use. So just follow the steps. I have already uh, put this command, this default, the first line of command and it asks for my it has been disabled here so in order to deactivate it so i need to run this system reload apache so i have already completed the step but you can always use those command and follow it in order to be able to access the uh, opac okay so when you put the system reload it will prompt for root password and then you restart your apache okay so let us try to access the opac url uh 127.0.1.1 we should be able to access the okay fine now let us access the koha staff client this is for the library staff so that they can work set rules okay so remember the password the super librarian administrator account which i have created login so there it is part four is completed and thank you very much for your time and feel free to go through this article at www.channelcom.in.